Hi there, this is Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine. Here at the Jacob Jarvis Convention Center for Toy Fair 2013. I'm here with Mark Hucklebone. We all know Mark. He's right, a good. famous guy that we've seen on Toy Hunter. Thank you, sir. And Let's also, uh, he's also famous for the president of um, toys. Comic book men, too. Can't forget comic men. <laughs> comic men was nice enough to feature my presidential monsters on there yeah. this year. So, uh, would you like to check, come around the corner and check yeah, out the new light? Yeah, see what new stuff is coming out. Okay, we got a few new series. Okay, we're back here with Mark again. He's going to show us some uh, first line from the um, first series of Presidential yeah. Monsters. I'll show you from the beginning on. Right. All right, so we first started Series 1 with Lincoln Stein, Baracula, Wolf Bill, and Ron Meat, Regan the Mummy. And then Series 2 is Phantom of the White House, JFK's Phantom. Monster from the Watergate Lagoon and everybody's favorite zombie, Zombush. <laughs> then last year at Toy Fair I showed you we had these on display. We cleaned them up, changed them a little bit. We're going to have them out by August. Uh, we're, we're throwing Spirit of 76, which is pretty much the tail end of Series 2. And then Series 3 will come at the same time. It's going to have Dr. Benjamin Franklinstein as our mad scientist. And instead of Igor, he had to hire Algor, his trusty, the inconvenient assistant. <laughs> then we've got Jack Sparatu, uh, who's an ancient vampire. Oh, Old Hickory himself. And then we've got Yeti Roosevelt. Are you going to have two versions right here? Well, um, <clears throat> actually, on uh, Comic Book Men, they requested they wanted a brown Yeti. So I whipped up this prototype. We're going to show it to them, see if they like it. If they like it, I'll give it to them exclusive for their website or their store or whatever they want to do. And if not, then, you know, we might go ahead and throw them in something else. But but I'm leaving it for them to write it out. The Spirit of 76, did you decide to do the two heads? Remember before last time we talked about that? Yeah, we went, actually we're going to first come out with just this one. They were thinking about maybe doing a one that's all clear for maybe, you know, for a certain, for somebody who might do an exclusive, somebody have a clear one. And then we're going to still work on doing the face that comes off. I just want to get the, this one out first. This is the main one. This is actually my favorite. I like the look of this one. I just love the, the, the paint job on that one. And then, like I said, we'll probably do a clear one and then possibly the face, uh, the removable face plate too. But for sure it's definitely this one and then the other two we're going to see who will get what. Right, so let's move yep. on. And then we got series four, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> We've got the hunter, Van Palin. <laughs> She's hunting down the monsters with her trusty side companion, Maverick, which is her pit bull with lipstick. And she's got her Mama Grizzly hat on, too. Equipped with a bunch of weapons. I think she'll be one of the fan favorites. <laughs> we, yeah, we talked yes, about that. Yes. I think she, I, I, I have a lot of interest in this one. I think this is, I think, I love this one. This is great. Then, we're still working on the suit. The head and mask are done right now. The dog's ready to go. The suit, we still, you know, it's... <laughs> suit we have, we're still making. Then we have her uh, arch nemesis, Hilvira, Secretary of State, which is another one. I think this one turned out beautiful. I'm very happy with this one. Her younger years. Yeah, well, it's, a younger yeah, years. It looks good. I like it. It's, it's a good figure. Then we have General Eisenhower, <laughs> our well respected uh, werewolf. And Jimmy's actually in New Jersey right now, so he didn't make it. He's gonna probably be here tomorrow. Oh, poor Jimmy. He's, yeah, he's getting painted. But uh, so there's there's the package on there. Yes. He'll, be, he'll be here soon. Straight jacket, Jimmy. That's right. The straight jacket looks awesome. It turned out really well. Okay. Then, we're, then we have uh, last year for the election, we whipped up this prototype, Romney the robot, who is a futuristic ATM machine from the future. <laughs> We uh, still had a lot of requests on him. Unfortunately, you know, like well, the, unfortunately for him, he didn't win. So, uh, but we uh, still would like to bring as part of the monsters. So, uh, why not? Yeah. So, uh, I'm thinking of doing a limited edition poly resin uh, version of him. So maybe maybe as low as 500 pieces, maybe even less. Try to just do a, a small thing. Uh, maybe just on the website. I'm not sure how we're going to do it yet, but I, I definitely want him to come out. So I'm hoping to have him out by August, September, along with. Um, Series 5, which will be for Christmas. And we have Headless S. Grant, the Headless Horseman, Franken Ford, Jill Ford is a, a Frankenstein. I love his 70s kind of outfit that he's known for wearing those outfits. And then we've got uh, our, fa our favorite Martian, Martian Van Buren, <laughs> which I'm very happy on that one. He turned out really well. And then uh, we've got an, a fourth one in the works right now, too. Oh, okay. So, uh, fourth in the series also. 
right now. You, you got series one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So you also said you have. Um, you want to talk to me about yes. Scary Godmother? Yes. My friend Jill Thompson, famous comic artist, she created Scary Godmother. Uh, she had two cartoon specials. And has done a bunch of books on it. So now these. Uh, this is the doll we're going to be making for her. So uh, she'll be out by Christmas. It's a fully posable, about 13 inch tall, total 13 inch tall doll. Is that going to be the packaging for it? Yes, I love that. I love, she made this box herself. It's beautiful. I love it. It's, it's amazing. I wanted her to actually start designing some boxes for me because I love her style. Or, she's so artistic. She whipped this up. It's a beautiful prototype. I thought that was one of your jobs there. No, no, I wish I wish I could claim that, but no, that's chill. Actually, when I saw that, I'm like, oh, you gotta do some stuff for me, this is awesome. So yeah, so we're working on this right now for her. We're, uh, we're, we're getting close in China, and we should hopefully have it, hopefully done by Christmas. That's, that's our goal. And how much will this be retailing we're for? That, that I'm not sure yet. Uh, I don't know I don't know the price points. I have to still sit down and discuss that with her, too. So where are we gonna find that? Specialty stores only, or? Target or Toys uh, Us? Well, I mean, hopefully we can get it wherever we can get it. But yeah, it'll be specialty to start, you know, go through Diamond. Um, you know, I'm sure she'll solicit it there. I'm not sure exactly what she wants to do yet, what direction she wants to go. I'm just manufacturing it for her. Okay. We'll, we'll go from there. All right. Well, Mark, I want to thank you for this brief interview As because always, I know you are very busy at this moment. And yeah. you, just, you just took the time out and everything. You well, graced me and everything. For you, your I, will always, I always take time out. <laughs> It's been year after year after year. Totally fair. I used to do the photography for my buddy's magazine. Yeah, it's I know. Years. That's how we met up and yeah, everything. Yeah. It's been, what, 10 years or more? That's more than 10, 10 years, dude. Years. I know. Yeah. I ain't gonna say how old I am. I've been 29 for 12 years or so. Uh, yeah, when we met at that hotel and everything. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, it's a long time. I think it was from, I think it was from, from McFarland's. Yeah, I think it was. That was McFarland's, yeah. 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 Long, gosh, it's been 15 Probably plus years. Yeah. Because it sucks to get old. <laughs> he ain't the only one. That's right. I guess we all are. Yeah. Well, thank uh, you. hey, I want to thank you too. Well, thanks again, and uh, I'll keep you updated on anything. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot we gotta do juniors. Jun oh okay. Gosh, I can't forget the juniors. Oh, no, forgot the juniors. Yeah, you gotta do the juniors. These are our junior line. We take, we're taking the same heads as the Presidential Monsters, we're putting them on the mini cartoon bodies. So we're going to actually start off, I, I love these, I love the packaging, there's a packaging design right now. I, I'm in love with this packaging. I've been just carrying it around the last couple days, it's, I love it. My graphic artist Scott's like, I made an extra one for you to carry around, so he read my mind, so it was awesome. So we're going to have Lincoln Stein, Baracula, Ron Me, Wolf Bill, Phantom of the White House, Monster from the Watergate Lagoon, Zombush, and actually I think we're going to put Spirit of 76 out first. So we do like the first two series for small, but Yeti Roosevelt will be right behind him. So I, I love the more cartoony, big head, little body kind of concept that is awesome. I'm very happy with the way these turned out. So we are working on actually tooling these at the same time as tooling the the uh, uh, series three. You know, the, the Ben Franklin, Al Gore, Yeti Roosevelt, and Jack Sparrow for the larger figures. So we're hoping now. I'm hoping to have these done if I can get if, the, if I can get the factory to do it in time for San Diego. If not, definitely New York Comic Con in uh, October. So I'm praying for July, but October is the the, the, the backup just in case. So. All right. And how much would the price point would that I'm be? I'm not sure yet. We're, we're figuring all that out now. I'm hoping like $9.99 or less. Okay. Yeah, like $8.99, I'm hoping for retail, but I don't know. Can't quote me on that because I, I haven't got the prices from them. So. You're still working on it. Yeah, yeah, we're still working on it. Not a problem. Well. So yeah, I want to make sure you got these because these are good. I like them. <laughs> Whoa. So, so I'll, I'll keep you updated. I'll uh, email me and take care of anything you need, any questions you have, and uh, I'll send you some samples. All right, Mark. All right, cool. Take once care, buddy. again, cool. Nice. Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine here at Toy Fair 2013.